No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. What, no foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Huh. Ah. A snake's tongue as well. <coughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Wanna dip your dingle? out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. A reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. 
The symbolism is rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How oh, funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead they laughed. Through stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spent his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trabirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not. 